Hey everyone, this is Sean Anthony making another part of my Hyper Turbo Micro Stake series. As before, I will be one tabling live and going through my thought process hand by hand against an opponent that is unknown. There's standard C bet here on an ace high board. I'll be going for three streets here. This is a very strong hand. I typically will be um, min-raising a large part of my range. Uh, I think that takes advantage of fold equity preflop at this level. And um, if it doesn't, it allows me to create post-flop situations where I think I can have a fairly large advantage. Um, here, I think um, I can either bet for protection I think my hand's good fairly often here. Uh, I can bet for protection or I can check and then call a uh, river bet or bet for value on the river depending on the, the run out. But here I'll just check back and hopefully be up against 7x. And I was, so I think that was actually um, turned out uh, to be a good bet on the, the turn based on a hand like that. I think also with this level, uh, players will be check calling their draws more often than betting so like a 10x 6x hand i uh, get some value from those hands instead of when some opponents at higher stakes are more aggressive whether they're leading those hands i'll continue to min raise uh at this level at 20 big blinds effective i think i would uh, start to incorporate more limps against certain opponents but at this level again i'm going to take advantage of that fold equity I'm going to uh, just call here with this sizing. Uh, if I check raise, I'm put in a pretty tough situation on future streets if he just calls. I'll just call again and I'll call the river if he bets. That's a note that I would take would be that he uh, just min bet. Uh, Here, ace six suited. You can min raise, you can limp, you can shove pre flop. I will min raise call. It's a playable hand. Uh, ace six offsuit is more likely to be a hand I would just shove because post flop it doesn't play as well as um, a hand that's suited. It gives me more options post flop to barrel when I have more equity. I will just check back here. Uh, and <laughs> if I was to bet here, I'd almost have the odds to call a shove, so I'd rather check back and possibly call down a couple streets. You know, I'll again, be checking back to get to showdown value. He bets here. Uh, I do, I think it's pretty close based on the sizing. Um, I need to call a pretty wide portion of my range. Uh, I'm going to give a call. Another note, probe did not probe turn with uh, queen 10 on 988. 5-9 offsuit is a limping hand for me. Um, check back, I'll have a lot of hands that can bet here for value, so my nine ne isn't necessarily near the top of my range. Again, this is another spot where I almost have to call. I don't like it. Um, but given the odds, it's it's very close. When I say uh, I almost have to call, it's because let me get to this queen jack suited. I'll just shove here at this level. It's a very strong hand. Um, when I check back the flop here, I'll be betting with a lot of my jacks, a lot of my tens. Um, so when I check back, I will just shove 10 8 offsuit here. When I check back that and the turn where I, I would be betting a lot of 8x on the on the flop as well. Um, when I check back both of those streets, by the time I get to the river, 9x even with a five kicker is not not the top of my range, but it's 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 close. 
and I have to think about calling given getting three to one odds. Jack five suited, I will just shove. Um, another note that I would take would be that he Minray's called Queen Ten offsuit at nine big blinds. And if you give me a minute, we will load up another game. All right, we have another game against a random opponent. 9-3 offsuit is a limp for me to begin the game. I would start taking into occasion, uh, consideration immediately that he may be more aggressive against limps due to that raise right there. I will fold to a 3x with 7-9 offsuit. Make a note that its standard size might be 3x from the button at 25 big blinds. I'll fold again. I'll start opening up my shoving range against an opponent like this. Uh, it can be very exploitable if a person's 3x opening and not calling uh, an optimal range at such a shallow stack level. Continue my min raise range. Uh, this is a hand that <clears throat> you can either check back or you can bet. I'll go for a small sizing here. <clears throat> I think that's pretty close. I'm going to have a lot of hands that want to see bet there uh, as bluffs that have draws already, 5-7. Five, three, seven, eight, seven, nine, nine, seven. All those hands, um, but I do want to add some kings to my range. This is a pretty standard shove. Ace eight suit is very strong. Uh, I will continue to limp here. Um, if he raises me again, I would definitely start taking away these question marks, which makes my read a bit more confident in my eyes. As I was saying, I would like to have some kings. In my range, uh, c betting this board just so I can uh, believably represent king x turns. If I don't have any kings in my c betting range there as bluffs, then on king x turns, uh, I'm going to have to check back a lot. It's something I don't want to do. Limp again with a bomb 10% hand. Very, very easy shove with pocket twos. I expect to be called a lot. Uh, surprising. Not really surprising with how often he's been 3xing, but yeah. Um, at this stack depth, uh, these ace x offsuit hands are very easy. Open shoves, just you pick up a lot of fold equity, especially with the ace blocker. Um, the times your opponent's calling is reduced drastically. Uh, here, it's very easy. Shove with my ace offsuit. Uh, Minray's call king 10 offsuit at 11 big blinds. Here I will limp. I'm going to be limping a lot of my pocket pairs so I can add other hands to my range. Uh, other hands that can't shove based on the Nash chart, I like to limp. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to balance with larger pocket pairs. Here I'm most likely going to call down. It's possible I can get away with from this on the river. Um, I don't see really any reason to bet. He could have 7x. If he has a 2x that he was protection betting for some reason, he's not going to be calling the river. I have queen x and 7x to bet, and he could have a flush draw that he's probably calling also, so I'll just check. And that is a definite note to take. Leads, limped pot, multiple streets with no draw with no equity bluffs gives up river I'm getting to the point now eight big blinds I'm just going to shove my sevens I'd probably still limp um, eight eights plus um, but again 
once the stack sizes become effectively smaller, uh, I'm going to widen my open shoving range. This is a hand I will limp. Uh, actually, I, I don't necessarily like this against the guy who's aggressive against limps, but it's a hand I do try to get to a flop with because even though it's it's a weak hand, there's some connectedness and uh, I can represent boards that big blinds in this limping situation tend to be very aggressive at. So those are my reasons for that. I'll look to get to showdown with this hand. Call one street, possibly bluff uh, straight draws on the river if he checks to me, um, but I'll fold if he does bet again. I wouldn't be surprised if he's bluffing here, but I don't. I think I have many stronger hands that I can call there where I can comfortably fold. Uh, comfortably fold my five. No kicker. Six four offsuit there is it's pretty close to a limp for me as well. Stacks are a little bit shorter, but um, given given the right type of opponent, I think you can get away with a limp there against this aggressive opponent. You probably can't. 4-9 suited, uh, I will just fold. I'll shove my queen-5 offsuit. I think we're at stack depth where I should just do that and maybe we get called by such a hand. That's a, obviously a note to take. And I will be back for a third game in one minute. All right, back with the third game. Playing another guy that I don't know anything about, but I see that he has two stars and a cell phone icon, so I would doubt he is a regular at these stakes. 10-3 offsuit, I will limp to begin with. This is a board I think you can take advantage of exploitatively against these opponents by betting the flop and continuing on many turns and rivers due to the fact that it's going to be hard for an opponent to call down 2x, 4x on many runouts. So whenever I have a hand that has backdoor draws over card, um, yeah, just exploitatively I can take advantage of this against many opponents. This is an interesting lead. Uh, note that I would take would be on 8x board. He donked. Um, double suited, meaning uh, that it's possible he has a flush draw. <clears throat> on a board like this, I will just fold again, but obviously now that he's done it twice in a row, um, it's pretty apparent that he's going to be donking more often than typical, and uh, you need to make an adjustment against an opponent like this. Some adjustments could be uh, bluff raising flops, others could be when he checks you barrel strongly, um, meaning a high percentage of the time just because it's possible that his donk range is uh, a large portion of his strong hand, so therefore his checking range will be incredibly weak. Here I will look to bet three streets with my straight draw and backdoor flush draw. So yeah, if he checks, he's check folded twice, I believe now, very quickly. Um, therefore, that gives more believability to the fact that his donking is going to be a strong part of his range. Queen 10 offsuit, I will check call one street. Um, usually. Yeah, I'm going to check call one street here. Uh, on a board like King 8 4, it's very hard to defend properly, even against a half pot C bet. Uh, you have to start adding some type of hands to your range. Um, here, I will check call the river, I believe. Uh, queen 10, you know, you have some high card showdown value, 
you have backdoor straight draws and against certain opponents you get more value when your queen or 10 hits um, because it's fairly disguised. I will limp my 3-4 suited. Bet the flop here. It's an easy shove against the min rays. Let me get called by kings. Very standard hand. Just to bring up, um, before I pause again, to bring up uh, a hand like this, some adjustments you can make when you see a person min raise call pocket kings at 13 big blinds is you have to start thinking about uh, their range overall. Therefore, when he limps, uh, it's possible he does not limp any stronger hands. Therefore, you can uh, exploitatively shove over his limps with a wider range because you're not as afraid of being called by those premium hands. So give me another minute and I'll get another game in. Okay, here's our fourth and final game for this video against an opponent that looks like a fish with his two stars and icon of either himself or probably a family member. That's typically a sign that the person is a recreational player. I'll bet here with my four and uh, <coughs> four and straight draw. I'll go for one street. It'll be hard to get one street of value later in the hand, so I'll try to get it right now. This is close to being a bet. I think I would bet more four X's, uh, stronger four X's. I'll just check here. And if he checks the river, um, sometimes I'd go for a street of value. Other times uh, I'd just check back. And here I will... Um, just fold. I don't expect this player to be bluffing with this size, given how the hands played out. It's hard for him to be bluffing here unless he's turning a 3x into a bluff, and I don't expect a player who I view is a fish um, to be doing that. I'll just flat out the 19 suited here. You can 3-bet against a guy who's folding often. He seems to be upset that I'm taking more than two seconds. Ah, he's calling me a chess player. Makes sense. Uh, here, I will check again. If I had a club in my hand, I'd be betting. Uh, and if he checked back, I'd be bluffing a lot of rivers. Seen he's min raised a couple hands so far, so I'll just shove here against a player like this. Um, it's possible that his call shoving range here is is much wider than it should be. So even calling, you get the fold equity necessary to make this play, and also you can have some extra benefit that he might call a hand like ten jack offsuit. Ace nine offsuit. Just as a standard to start with, I'll min raise call a shove. Um, if you start to see players defending a wide range at this stack level, uh, you think you can limp. I think you can open shove versus the right player. Uh, it's just dependent on how they they play against your min raises. All right. On that note, I would. Well, first I would. Take a note that um, he three bet shoved, king three suited at 15 big lines. I don't think it's a bad play at all, um, but it's just a note to take that he made that play. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments, and I will get back to you uh, shortly. Thanks, guys.